Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi, welcome back to your favorite show with Elliot and James, King Cletus and Slick Frank. That was my favorite moron doing today. I don't know. Ask yourself in the mirror. No. Yummy! Um. Um, I was saying that I like Morrowind the best. Yeah, I interrupted you. Sorry. Yeah, and again, it's hard for me to say if that's just nostalgia or what, but I still play all of those games. I still play Skyrim. I still play Oblivion, and I still play Morrowind. I do think that Oblivion has aged way better than Morrowind. Uh, Morrowind has some janky no! in the combat system and just a lot of things. Like, in Morrowind, there are... Ooh, oh, on. minions. Yeah. <laughs> They're the OG minions. What the hell? Put it in his butt! Put it in his butt! Yeah, James wants me to talk about putting it in his butt! Yeah! Oh my. I gotta say, the, the physical humor in this game is kind of hit and miss. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, haha, that's great, and then other times it's like, eh. Oh, turtles. I do like the art style. Yeah, no, this is, this is a very beautiful looking game for sure. I'm sure that the original looks like ass by comparison. It's very colorful. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'd be mighty grateful. Check out that dude's eyebrows. I also just think that the levels are like better in this game than in the first one. Yeah, no, I, I, I think so far this is this definitely feels like an impro- Let's see, I gotta shepherd them over there? How do I shepherd them? I don't know. Don't scare them? Like, Set them on fire? No, 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 just like go behind them. I think they'll run away from you. No. Hmm. Oh. I gotta just smack him. No. Set him on fire. Come on, go, guys. go get that guy. Or maybe they have to follow me. I don't know. Go, go on the turtle. Hmm. Jump on him. Huh. Is this a good? Oh, I can't do a horn dive yet, can I? No. I don't know if I even can in this game. Whoa. Oh, maybe you shepherd him. Oh. Oh, he's the leader. Oh, okay. I see. Gotcha. Oh, oh I see. All right, then they go swimming. Oh, cool. Is that it? All right. I is, think so. Is this guy going to give me an orb? Or is that it? He's just like, do me. Oh, okay. He wasn't going to give yeah, me an orb. Yeah, so he's, he's just, just telling you how to progress. I see. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah, so like, have you ever played Morrowind? I, I haven't touched any of the old Elder Scroll games. I, I've always been kind of oh. curious. They're not really my kind of games for the most yeah. part, because I'm, I'm usually into the cartoony crap sure. for, for babies like this. <laughs> babies. You know, the, all the baby games like Yoshi baby and Mar games. Banjo Kazooie and Crash Bandicoot, all the baby games. All the baby shit. I'm just oh, I just murdered a starfish. Wow. That's pleasant. Just like I murdered baby a penguin. Games. Um but I <gasps> I've always been kinda I remember Oblivion was like a big deal back in the day, so You know what this reminded me of for whatever reason? Ratchet and Clank? No. What? Uh SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, which is coming out in November. November? Yeah. Oh, that it's gonna take that long? Yeah, but oh, once man. it's here, we are playing that. I'm shit. so excited for that. I loved that game. Yeah, I I didn't own it, but my neighbor did, and the few times I played it, I was like, this is amazing. I so regret selling it. Seriously, oh. man. Uh, but hey, at least they're remastering it, so I'll, yeah. I'll I'll probably maybe I'll get it on Switch. I don't know. Mm. But yeah, I I, I freaking adore that game. It, it has so many great references to the show. Uh, like, there's one part where you, you talk to Bubble Buddy and he says, Alright, Spongebob, if you want to defeat the giant monkey man and save the ninth dimension, you'll have to learn to do this. Uh, Bubble Buddy, I just need to get golden spatulas. Oh, okay, well, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so many great in-jokes <laughs> taken directly from the show. It's, it's, it's just a huge fan service game, really. That's awesome. Not not in the horny, like, anime yeah. titty way. Like, the fan service, like... titty goth girl. <laughs> but, um... Uh, was Jen's there, favorite. Was there anything else you wanted to say on uh, Oh, Elder yeah, Scrolls? I was just saying that, like, Morrowind... So, like, when you're walking around the, the world, you you run into, like, loading times randomly. So you'll just be walking along a path, and the game will stop, and you'll see a loading screen until you can continue. Uh, or, like, there's not really voice acting... Uh, th there is a little bit when you walk past someone, but when you talk to them, it's just like fucking walls of text that you have to sift through to see what they want. Ah, uh, jeez. Um, but because of that, it's like a lot more nerdy immersive. The world seems a lot more immersive. Like, it's a lot more dark, yeah. a lot darker, and, uh... Because there's no voice acting, I assume it, like... Well, also just the, the world, the aesthetic. Hmm, okay. The way it's done. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's a really cool game. Huh, okay. Yep. Hmm. Maybe we'll try it someday. 
Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I, I really don't know if you'd like it at all. Yeah, I don't know. But at the very least, we could maybe just give it a, a few episodes. Just give me a look-see. Sure. Like we did with World of Warcraft a that one time. Peep -see. Um. Look-see, peep-see. I'm trying, I'm trying to think, before I, we move on, I'm trying to think if there are any other games this past decade that freaking like, really, like, drove blew me crazy. My blew my mind. Uh, yeah, no, 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 nothing's really coming to mind right now. I'm sure when it does, I'll be like, oh, I can't believe I forgot that. Oh. I'm going to open up my Steam account and look at my hours played. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> see which, which games the past decade yeah. on Steam. Yeah. Let's... That being said, yeah, I mean, League and Dota. Dota's got to be one of my tops. Okay. World of Warcraft, Dota 2. Uh... I guess maybe Wind Waker HD might, but but I don't know if that really counts because it's a remaster. Nah, I mean I wouldn't count it personally. I mean I think it's way better than the original on GameCube. They fixed so much bullcrap. Yeah. They made it way more uh, speedy and quick and just way more pleasant to play. Mm. Uh, so so I think that's an achievement in and of itself. But uh, sure. I don't know. I don't know how much that counts. Uh, all right. Let's see. What am I supposed to? Okay. My most played game on Steam is Dota 2 with about 1,800 hours, but that's only on this account. I have, Dota 2. So I probably have like 2,300 hours in Dota 2. Ah, oh, damn. Uh, I have 711 hours in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, 239 in Rocket League, 104 in Elder Scrolls, 93 in PUBG. Oh, Fortnite. Oh, oh, Fortnite, yeah, of course. I, it's, so, it's so recent. That... I, I forgot, you're such a huge fanatic of that game. Yeah. 82 hours in Dark Souls 2. Uh, 86 hours in Terraria. 78 in GTA 5. 56 in Dark Souls 3. 52 in uh, H1Z1 Battle Royale. <laughs> H1Z1 Battle... That, that's the title. <laughs> yeah, now it's just called Z1 Battle Royale. Uh, okay. The Witcher. The Witcher 3. That was pretty good. Oh, I still haven't touched that game. Mm, Dark Souls, Stardew, Civ 5, Final Fantasy. Oh, Stardew, I remember that was, that's a recent one. I remember you were obsessed, you were pretty into that one. Yeah, that was a good one. Oops. I'm trying to find any bangers in here. <sighs> Hidden bangers, bro. Right now I'm doing this challenge where I gotta check out this awesome design. Whoa, he looks like a tiger. Cool. Pretty rad. I gotta get all these. Oh, that's things. how you open those, I was wondering that. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering that too. Um, okay, did I get them all here? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um so until we come up with more games of the past decade to obsess over um i, I gotta <sighs> yeah you asked that question like two episodes ago do, do you ever like have like a funny story you want to tell but you don't know if it'll be funny or not full no. disclaimer this may or may not be funny but i'll do my damnedest god damn it <sighs> okay so i was playing breath of the wild <laughs> and there's a part where um the, you you remember Kakariko Village, right? Yes. There's a part I where do. I was playing the game only for the second time, and it's such a huge game. You have to that leave the dragon over there. Oh, it's a turtle. The turtle. Tortoise, whatever. You can. There are still new that things game. that I discover uh, every time I play it because it's just so freaking huge. Oh yeah. Uh, I go into Kakariko and I leave. Uh, I go down this one pathway to the you east. You have to leave one of the turtles. Here. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, it's definitely that one. I go to the east. And I see there there are these like tall rocks, uh -huh. and and uh, there's one rock in particular that's extra tall. And as soon as I saw it, me being the mature gentleman that I am, I said, oh, "That big rock that right there, that's like the size of my dick compared to everyone else's dick on the planet." <laughs> that's so funny, huh? Then suddenly I hear, <laughs> I turn around and there's a little girl there, and I'm thinking, "Why is this little girl crying?" I talk to her, she's like, my mom, my dead mom's buried here. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Jesus. I just made a joke about her dead mom's grave. <gasps> oh, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> okay, yeah, that story wasn't as funny as I thought it would be. I enjoyed it. Okay. okay. Well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was funny at the time. Because I was just, like, making a dick joke, and then this really sad moment happens. I'm like, oh, God, I feel horrible. <laughs> do, do you remember that part? No. Just out of nowhere, this little girl just shows up, and she starts crying. She's like, my mommy, she's up there, but daddy tells me to be strong. I'm like, you poor little girl. <laughs> we probably have to bleep it, but that kind of reminds me when we were watching 
<laughs> uh, Penelope or whatever, the racing movie. Oh, Wreck It Ralph. Yeah, and it's like really serious. The really serious scene. And, and then the guy like drives off the fucking mountain. And I'm like, no. No, you did. He Ralph had to destroy her car in order to save her life, and you were making the really inappropriate joke while she was crying. You're like, no, stop it. And, I was, and by the time it was done, I was like, wow, you guys, way to ruin an emotional scene. <sighs> no! God. Well, I can't get that freaking turtle over here. Yeah, apparently not, bro. Yeah, what? What is he? Why is he not? I don't know. Is he glitched? Is the game glitched? I don't know. Okay, I think I just. Have... Okay, not that fast. Now go again. Go again. Keep going. Ah, see, I'm doing it, and he just keeps coming back. I don't know. Maybe he's fucking retarded. Uh, god dang it. Uh, okay, I'm 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 feeling know. a little stuck. Uh, how far in are we? Oh fuck this! Cut! 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 James, you're going way off script. Mm, sorry. You were not supposed to bring that up. I've been disrespecting the writers of Royal Goose. Oh god, are we still recording? Yeah. Fuck our writers. <laughs>